has eyes and a heart made of stone But she keeps me alive She's the beast in my bones She gets everything she wants When she gets me alone Like it's nothing She got two little horns and they give me a little bit Everything has a breaking point and we are quickly reaching that breaking point from events that transpired in the last episode. Now the events were that Kelly got her car wrecked out by one of Red Rose's goonies that she sent after Kelly. Kelly's not dead or anything, her revenge is just trashed. Now Laura is pissed about this situation because they wrecked out her baby sister and Laura has work that she needs to do and her specific job is to go take out Red Rose but here's the thing about it Laura's attitude is getting in the way of her work again that she needs to do and this is the bad thing about it Red Rose's goonies find out what Laura has planned for Red Rose and that is not good at all at all so dealing with some of the goons they tend to get a bit cocky at times because since they're taking someone two on one, they tend to think, okay, we got them. I'll sit back and let you beat the living crap out of them and kill them. But this is the thing about it. Red Rose is too preoccupied with someone that is secretly helping Laura and her siblings out to make the streets a safer place for them, for themselves. His name is Marcus. Marcus is going to keep Red Rose preoccupied and little does Laura know, one of the goons that she's fighting, he is the same exact one that got Ranton arrested. So, let's see what Laura has packing.
with Marcus being out there watching out for Laura, she escaped with her life because they were going to kill her. They were going to straight up kill her and make it look like she died in a car accident. Now, Laura doesn't know one of those racers out there was one of the same exact cop that arrested her boyfriend, Ranton. So we all know what's going to happen. Laura finds this information out because the cops can switch between names. If you guys didn't know that about them, they can switch between names, and they can seem like one person, but they are a completely different person under the race, under the cop side. Excuse me. You won't know who is who until it's too late. So Laura finds this information out from Tim Bagels. Tim Bagels feeds this information to her. And we know how she is. She doesn't know how to control her anger and stuff. And she goes after that same exact cop that arrested Ranton. Let's see what's going to happen to Laura now. Good luck, Laura. Laura did the right thing by running away in the end because you had no weapons and you were gonna get arrested real quickly and you were gonna be right there with Ranton. You barely escaped with your life three times woman. How can you keep doing this? But this is the end of the video everyone. And I don't know what to say now because I'm running out of stuff to say. But I will see all of you in the next video and enjoy the new credits that I made for the video. Now front row for the spotlight. Not a diamonds in the out of my bright. Just overseas for a pop flight. Young nigga on bullshit and I ball on them Bill Cartwright. Knew I could shine through the dark. I guess I always been a star type. That line in me made my heart fight. Could have been a victim of a hot pipe. Took a million risks just to get to this. Cause we ain't the ones that the cops like. Been so many times God tested me. They only see the asses I got right. They
commenting all on the blocks Trying to tell me how to live my life And I waited so patiently If you could take off, don't wait for me No days off, grind faithfully I keep thanking God for saving me Frontline showcase and I break I know that top spot, it was made for me It all paid off, so we felt the struggle so painfully Now you see me standing in the lights But you never saw my sacrifice